NBA player props here on Price Picks for Monday, May 8th. Before I get started, there is a link in the description below. You can sign up for Price Picks. You can use promo code TUFF. Discord link in the description. Main server completely free. We also have the Patreon link in there as well. Where do you post all the plays here that I'm making on Price Picks for each given sport that I do play? Um, again, not a gambling expert. This is not financial advice. Simply just plays I'm personally looking at making. Again, let me know in the comments below at the end of this video. Hopefully, this just helps you guys make your own player prop decisions here. But let's get into it. Uh, I got two props, props here today. We got uh, New York, Miami, a crucial, crucial game four, and then a Warriors, Lakers, crucial game four as well. These are crucial, crucial game fours here. Um, I'm hoping both these games are close. Usually, these game fours, these uh, second games um, at home have been a little bit closer, but again, well, it remains to be seen here with uh, with these NBA playoff games. The blowouts in the NBA playoff games have been absolutely insane, um, and they really do affect uh, player props quite a bit. But let's get into it. I got two props here that I'm targeting. Um, yeah, let's get into it. So the first one is going to be Jalen Brunson over five and a half assists. We take a look at Jalen Brunson. He has hit this in three of his last five games here, but in games where he plays um, 32 plus minutes, you can see the hit rate. So one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 of his last 13 games when he plays 32 plus minutes, including the playoffs, he has hit the over on this. This is an absolute must win game for the Knicks here. Um, you know, them going down 3 1, heading back to New York is pretty tough. Usually, I think teams that are up 3 uh, 1 usually like lose the series. I don't know the percentage, probably like over 80% of the time. Um, but I do also want to talk about Outlier again my go-to research tool now you can see your app.outlier.bet there's a link in the description of this video you can get a seven day free trial with outlier again to me probably the best research tool i've ever used uh, the mobile app is absolutely elite you guys mobile app is insane so go ahead and check out this link is in the description for a seven day free trial here but we can take a look at jalen brunson's over his last 10 game, 10 games this has a 70 percent hit rate we look at the last 20 it has a 60 percent hit rate but let's just jump this last 20 when he plays you know 32 plus minutes you can see the green and say amount of green right we're talking about the last 20 even away the last 20 games over the last 20 games when he plays away when he plays 32 plus minutes you can hear six of seven times he's hit the over on this we go to all games the green is very, very evident. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of 16 times over his last 20 games. When he plays 32 plus minutes, he has hit the over on this. And like I said, this is a must-win game for the Knicks. Um, absolutely, absolutely a must-win game. And I think Jalen Brunson in game the game 3, right, he finished with 8 assists in that game. Shot 7 for 20, played 38 minutes. He finished with 8 assists, but the Knicks shot 34% from the field. Right, we can expect some positive regression. We can see the shooting shooting percentages. Uh, RJ Barrett went five for sixteen. Josh Hart went five for twelve. Julie Tran went four for fifteen. Those are the three main guys that obviously Jalen Brunson is going to get assist to. Um, and Mitchell Robinson only played uh, fourteen minutes, but those are the three main guys. Right, five for twelve, five for sixteen, four for fifteen. That um, Jalen Brunson is going to get assist to, and in that game when all these guys shot that poorly, he still had eight assists. I think he had eleven potential assists in that matchup. Um, just across the season as well for Jalen Brunson, he, he does average <clears throat> slightly more assists on the road as well, 6.3 assists per game um, on the road compared to 6.1 at home. So we're just betting on Jalen Brunson to hit his season average on the road here tonight in a must-win game in Miami. Again, eight assists on 11 potential assists in game two, where the three main players on the Knicks besides Jalen Brunson shot absolutely horrendous. I mean, we're talking about those three guys shooting, was this 10, 14 for, what is this, 27... Yeah, it's like 14 for, I don't even know what that is, 27, 16, 43, 27, or yeah, 14 for 20, 14 for 47 um, is what the uh, those three guys shot. So I like Jalen Brunson here to bounce back. I think it's absolutely an elite matchup for him. We can see here, even the head-to-head -head this season, again, when he plays 32 plus minutes against Miami Heat, four, four of five times he has hit the over on this. Uh, actually, all three times on the road, eight, six, and eight assists for Jalen Brunson on the road at Miami, as you can see here. Um, yeah, so I really like this a lot. You can see here a very strong trend here on Outlier. Outlier has these um, trends here. Um, Jalen Brunson has exceeded 4.5 assists in 22 of his last 28 games, 5.9 assists per game average. Uh, the over 4.5 is minus 250. And then the odds for over 5.5 assists here, as you can see on FanDuel, minus 145, minus 129 on Caesars, minus 130 on MGM. So I like Jalen Brunson to go over 5.5 assists here, and I also do think this line will bump up to 6 at some point today. The second play is going to be a first half prop, which we haven't taken in a while, but I like this. It's going to be uh, D'Angelo Russell over 15 and a half fantasy score in the first half. Um, so we take a look at D'Angelo. He's coming off a great game in the first half where he had 27.4 fantasy against Golden State. He went absolutely crazy in the first quarter. 
Um, he's hit the over on this in three of his last five games with some, you know, 14.7 is a miss here at Golden State. Um, he said this in two of three games versus Golden State so far in this series, and they've really had a tough time covering D'Angelo Russell. So we take a look at D'Angelo's first half fantasy score game log, including the playoffs with the Lakers this season at home. The hit rate for this is very elite, in my opinion, as well. I mean, we're talking about 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of 13 games at home this season. D'Angelo Russell has hit the over on this. Um, he's played, again, like I said, 20 20 plus minutes and in both of these last two games at home played 20 minutes last game in the first half at home versus golden state i expect him to continue to be aggressive we also seeing d'angelo russell over the last three games here is leading the lakers in usage more than lebron more than anthony davis so a 28 percent usage rating for uh usage percentage sorry for d'angelo russell over the last three games um at home more specifically he's averaging 37.9 fantasy points per 36 minutes at home as well with 1.1 fantasy points per minute um you know if d'angelo russell sees 20 minutes tonight in the first half 1.1 times 20 very very much so over this 15 and a half fantasy score line just a little bit too low for me um in my opinion um we take a look at d'angelo russell again like i said if we take a look at uh in that game three sorry he had 27.4 fantasy points 21 points two rebounds four assists had two turnovers no steals or blocks and still at 27.4 shot eight for 12 five for seven from three and had three personal fouls. So I'm not expecting him to obviously shoot this well. And with the, I think the volume could be similar tonight, but obviously 55 for seven from three is just absolutely insane. But even if we get a, you know, negative regression here from D'Angelo, I think at 15 and a half is just a little bit too low. We take a look at uh, some point guards here. Point guards, fantasy score, first half fantasy score game log this season versus the Warriors. I mean, we took a D'Angelo here, 27.4, 14.7, and 19.2, right? Uh, Dennis Schroeder had 16 here. Dennis Schroeder had 9.9, .9, and Dennis Schroeder had 9. So, I mean, even the backup point guard, um, Dennis Schroeder obviously sharing a little bit of those first half minutes with D'Angelo Russell. He's had some success, you know, even clearing in that game one. But then we take a look at De'Aaron Fox um, and Davion Mitchell in, in this round one series. Fox cleared this in every single game, 17.5, 17.4, 31.5, 33.8, 19.5, 23.2. Oh, I guess uh, this was in the regular season, I want to say, maybe. I don't know. But he had 13, only uh, played 18 minutes in this game. Davion Mitchell had 18. So, again, the point guards have, a point guard has cleared this line in uh, pretty much every single game versus the Warriors so far in the playoffs, even dating back to the regular season. We saw Bruce Brown go for 20.7 and Jamal Murray 26.9 fantasy in the first half and 20 minutes versus the Warriors as well. Um, taking a look at outlier here for this play, um, D'Angelo Russell, we take a look at his first quarter assists. This is uh, over minus, over one and a half minus 142 on Caesars. First quarter assists here. We take a look at the hit rate this season in the first quarter for D'Angelo Russell. More specifically, over his last five, he's had at least two assists here. This is another great um, part about Outlier. They have the first quarter um, props. You can take a look at all these different props for D'Angelo Russell more specifically, right? And it has the odds. You can click on it, and then you get a deeper, deeper dive, essentially, um, of what we're really looking at with these specific player props here. But I like D'Angelo over 15 and a half fantasy score in the first half. Jalen Brunson over five and a half assists. Again, seven day free trial with Outlier. The link in the description below. Drop a like on this video, hit the subscribe button, and as always, let's cash.